it's a great honor to be here today getting this award because it's about social justice. It's about advocating for the rights of people with disabilities. It's about transforming experiences from the global west to global south. As a person who speaks English, so I'm able to learn from people and activists, campaigners and, and disabled people generally, and non-disabled people as well. Learning uh, along these people who were provided with good education, with good experiences around disability, who have resources as well, who have accommodations, who have these lots of things in, in the global West, in the US and, and, and Europe and the UK. I'm, and I'm quite privileged to, to have come here and to have learned about that and to also transform these experiences to these Egyptian people and to these people who unfortunately are unable to learn the language and who are unable, have no access to these education and material. So it's it's not about being open as an advocate. It's about being open as not stopping the learning that I got from people, but transforming it to people who need it and who are unprivileged to have it and to access it, to go attend it and, and see it as wide as possible, if, if I can put it that way. We have to face the adversities of institutional boundaries and academic gatekeeping. Like there are some challenges that emerge as a result of that. I mean, the AI and all these uh, global trends. We also have to be to appreciate being open to teach people, being open to make as wide as much resources available to people, like as much as we can about disability and not about and about every, everything else. You know, I'm I'm interested in inclusive education. So how can we make inclusive like education as inclusive as possible? and as wide as possible and as accessible as possible. How can we encourage those voices that are less heard to be heard? How can we sustain communities of disabled activists as well? For me, I'm an activist. At the end of the day, I'll, I'll, my activism will continue until it's over. But how can we make sure that there are generations of courageous activists who are confrontational about disability issues? That's how I see it for myself and for for openness and for the values of open education. How can we ensure that no one is left behind when it comes to accessing education about their disabilities and about their lives? From time to time, I, I just wanted to say that for anybody in this world, remember that, yeah, we are different when it comes to disability, but appreciate the idea of connection Embrace the values of diversity. Don't take the opportunity to go to a disabled person and speak to them for granted. Like, go and say, hi, is there anything I can help you here with here? Uh, can I just learn about that? Um, how can I make this accessible? How can I make this more clear for you? How can I include you in the conversations? Sometimes also people with disabilities do have anxiety. Sometimes they are overloaded with their lives. They have, have financial burdens. They have... Uh, family burdens. So sometimes they do not have the capacity to educate you. But if you go and ask, they will be happy to do that. And this is a part of openness. Is that you as non-disabled people being open to explore, being open to uh to 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 learn and being open to also take the experience and trans and transform it to another level.